then that might be the thumbnail. Hey, welcome back to another video, man. This is Nikki Tutorials. I don't know anything about her, but my wife knows a little bit about her. Go ahead and tell me what you know. I used to watch her a lot um, when I was, you know, in that makeup world. She used to recommend a lot of makeup products, and I think one of her um, product that went viral was she used to use men's shaving balm as a primer before you put on foundation and that's supposed to like stick to your face so basically your foundation don't run and primer helps your foundation not to run yeah it's like a it's like just think of it as a a glue that binds your face and the foundation together so y'all put glue on y'all's face? No, she put shaving cream. Sh not shaving cream, shaving balm or something like that. And I think it went viral like a lot of, you know. How far down the neck do y'all do makeup? Where do y'all stop? The Show neck. Me. Here. Damn, why you got granny like it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get to this video. If you haven't already, man, go make, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch at Chill Miyagi. You feel me? Oh, I'm muted. I, it's me, Nikki. Hello. Today I am here to share something with you that I've always wanted to share with you one day, um, but under my own circumstances. And it looks like that chance has been taken away from me. So today I am taking back my own power and uh, I have to tell you something. Planet Earth is full of labels and I never felt comfortable with labels. I wanted to be my own person, my own identity my own human being without any rules, without any labels, and without any restrictions. It is a brand new year. It is 2020, and I want to start the year off with the truth. I want to start the year off by finally revealing a part of my life that has made me who I am. I want to talk about a part of myself that makes me me. I can't believe I'm saying this today to all of you for the entire world to see, but damn, it feels good to finally do it. It is time to let go and be truly free. When I was younger, I was born in the wrong body, which means that I am transgender. Now, yeah, she was <laughs> so surreal saying cry when she said that. That's like That's a lot hard. of weight. Yeah, I can feel that like weight. Years. Like years. You could, yeah, you Ooh, could feel it. That feels, I feel that. Yeah, okay. That's tough. This, um, filming this video is scary, but it feels so liberating and freeing. I've been wanting to share this side of myself to all of you for so long. I feel like I'm watching the news. <laughs> Like, this is like a breaking, like... Breaking news. It is breaking news. It is breaking news. I, okay, backstory. I did not know, like, I have not been in touch with the news for ages, and I did not know about this until my sister, who is all the way in Singapore, who don't really even watch, like, makeup tutorials, like, how I did, was like, did you hear Naked Tutorials is transgender? I was like, what? Where'd you get this news from? Are you sure it's real? So I googled it and I just typed in Nikki tutorials and boom, a thousand and one just, yeah. that's crazy. But I could never figure out the timing and there always was going to be the day where I would tell you, um, I did not expect that day to be today, but here we are. I am Nikki tutorials and I am Nikki. I am me. We don't need labels. If we are gonna put a label on it, yes, I am transgender. But at the end of the day, I am me. And at the end of the day, you are you. I am sharing this with you because I feel free enough now for you to truly follow my journey. Not the power of makeup, but the power of me. The power of you, just like me. You get to write <laughs> your own story. Wait, wait, okay, this must be a very, <laughs> might be a very um, inappropriate, inappropriate time. But like, do you remember what was it? Rush hour? <laughs> and I was like, no, I mean, no, you're you. <laughs> Is that what you thought about? <laughs> There's so many me's and you's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. I'm sorry. I just had to. I just had to bring it up. <laughs> oh jeez. 
live your life. <laughs> live it without any restrictions. You can be you. You are in charge of how you want to live your life. Guys, we're in 2020. And if there ever was a time, the time is right now. I am here to openly share that I am transgender. And with this message, I want to inspire little Nikki's around the world who feel insecure, who feel out of place, who feel misunderstood. I hope by me standing up and being free that it inspires others to do the same, to truly live your life like you want it and the way you deserve it. This world needs us. We need to accept each other. We need to respect each other. But most of all, we need to hear each other and understand. It doesn't matter what type of label someone belongs to, what kind of hair color someone has, the type of clothing they wear, their height, their weight, their size, the way they look, the way they want to express themselves. It is 2020 and it is time for us to understand, accept, hear, and respect. The time for you to love yourself and express yourself the way you truly feel is now. I have taken that step many years ago many years ago, but I'm fighting my battles every single day. And I know you guys are out there too. It won't be easy, but damn it, it will be so worth it. When my mom was pregnant, she later told me that she was convinced that she was having a girl. And um, little did she know that she was actually having a girl. <laughs> um, I came yeah, out of her <laughs> and, uh, and there was a surprise. She didn't get any echoes because she was convinced that it was gonna be a girl. And out came me. <laughs> Hi. And uh, there was a little surprise. A surprise to my mom, definitely a surprise to me as soon as I had brains to think with. <laughs> Ever since I was born, I've always thought that I was a girl. And I just couldn't understand why, why I had short hair, why I had to wear trousers and a t-shirt and like, why couldn't I wear dresses? And I played with dolls. I did everything with, with nail polish, with, with hair brushes, with fake hair, with Barbie dolls. Like all of me was girly. My mom knew immediately that um, I either was gonna be gay or a different type of story. And it turned out to be a different type of story. Growing up, I think the number one thing I'm the most thankful for is my mom. <laughs> Love you, mom, <laughs> because she has been there for me since day one. She has always supported me, always accepted me. And that is everything you need as a kid, a parent that understands and listens and respects. So Mama Tutorials is a real one. Um, and she always supported me. And by the age of six, I grew my hair out. People at my school wow, that's really knew, young. I mean, they saw. <laughs> and I think by the age of seven, eight, I fully wore girls clothes only. Oh, wow. And it felt amazing. That's and the so teachers young. were so supportive. Is she from Singapore? No, she's from, from America? the Netherlands. No, she's like Netherlands or Supportive something. about it. And of course, kids are kids. You know, this is confusing. And some kids got it, and other kids in my class did not, which is fine. But I'll always be so thankful for all the teachers at that school who supported my journey and uh, supported me. I've always lived my youth as a girl. And the hardest part of living youth as a girl when you're not fully officially a girl yet is that you have to tell people in your life Mm -hmm. who you truly are, even though you feel like you, so this is hard to explain. So you feel like you feel trapped is the first thing. You feel trapped and you're angry because why me? Why did I get this? But growing up, I think the hardest part was meeting new people and getting close to them and telling them a side to your life that you don't even want to talk about because you hate that part of your life. You don't want to be that part of your life. You don't want to be known for that single part of your life. But still, you have to. And that is so hard. And many a times in my life, I've had to tell close friends my true story 
And it's heartbreaking, especially after transitioning and going through everything and closing that chapter. You don't want to talk about it anymore because you're like, okay, that rough part of my life, I got through it, I survived, I did it, and now I can close it off. But you can never truly close it off for good. And um, I am accepting that nowadays. And I am embracing that nowadays. Be if she says she only told close people, is that who blackmailed her? Was somebody close Possibly, to her? Possibly, or like, I mean, as you get bigger, like, as in, in the YouTube world, your friends are going to be like, oh, I know her, I'm a friend with her, and you know, she is da-da-da, and these people, like, don't tell anybody, and then these people talk to other people, and then basically, like, it just grows. Because it's time for me to be truly me for all of you. Uh, just because I know people are going to ask, yes. Um, I got fully transitioned by the time I was 14. I got my oh hormones my because I'm a tall wow. bitch and I kept on growing and they were like, let's <laughs> tone that down. really tall. What happened? So, okay. What does fully transition mean? That means she... Got like her privates removed yeah, and stuff? Yeah, not removed, but changed into a woman. You can change it to a woman's? Yeah, have you... Oh my God. You need to watch the... I don't know if it's going to be can, like... You that. can change... i seen a video. Like, it's it's like a an actual video where the doctors change from a penis into a vagina. It's crazy. That's real? You yeah. can really do that? Yes. And you... Yeah, it's crazy. It's not like you need to add prosthetics or anything. It's... It's... Okay, like... It's, it's, it's so creative <laughs> how they did it. You should react to that. We might have to do that after this video. Man. Let <laughs> me know in the comments. Should we? I don't even know. I I thought she was like a Barbie doll. Like everything was just smooth no, now. No. Like, no. How is she going to pee? I don't know. <laughs> Catheter or something. I don't know. <laughs> what? I got growth stoppers because I was supposed to be a whole lot taller than I already okay, am wait, today. Pause this video. You can't get growth stoppers? Can you get growth starters? <laughs> yeah. I'm to get a little bit taller. <laughs> she is really, really tall. That's the only thing. Like When I was, um, you know, like when she take pictures with other um, YouTubers, I noticed so how big and tall she is. I'm like, wow, she's a tall girl. But How tall is she? She's, I don't know, but she's super tall. She's definitely more than six foot, for sure, hands down. I think maybe six, three, six, four. I mean, there would be girls, like, in the WNBA, like, Candace Parker is, like, six, five. But I honestly did not had any, like, I did not had any hints that maybe she is transgender. Mm. Like, I... I think I'm pretty good at like telling really? like like transgender from an actual woman for the most part, but for her I really could not tell. How does she get transitioned when she's 14? I don't know. I think you should. You have to get your parents. Yeah, signature I mean, her, or something her like her parents. That? Yeah, her parents are fine with it, so. She was Did she finish puberty before she did it? I don't you know. You can't finish puberty by 14 maybe that's right? why her voice is like not deep because she already got hormones at that age but the hold thing on is, she said she got hormones like what estrogen hormones? yeah yeah like like she don't can have you take the, out the yeah the testosterone hormones you know you don't take it out but you just add more as i mean i'm not sure like people like maybe they know comment comment down yeah. below man how do you get the hormones if you got, if you're a male and you got testosterone hormones, how do you get those out? I don't think you get them out. I think you kind of suppress them or increase, with the estrogen, or increase your estrogen level. I think that's where it is. Hmm. Um. So they stopped my growth. She sounds like Khloe Kardashian. What? Really? I don't think so. And they gave me hormones, and by the time I was yeah. nineteen. I fully transitioned. Don't even transition. This sounds just like Chloe. Well, okay. On YouTube. And saying that right now, she transferred so on crazy. YouTube. Be a whole lot taller than I already am today. Um, so they stopped my growth, and they gave me hormones. And by the time I was 19, I fully transitioned. I oh. transitioned while on YouTube. And saying that right now sounds That's so crazy. crazy to me because Nobody I have knew. literally grown up and transformed 
into me. Hold on, how old is she? I don't know. She been doing 20. YouTube since she was 14? No, no. I think she's like 16, 16? When, she, when she fully transitioned. I want to see her earlier videos. In front of all of you. Now, pulling back to the portion where I talk about having to tell people close to you your true and full story, I know people are going to ask a lot of questions about Dylan. Now, Dylan fiance, is a very, very special guy. And um, I've never met anyone like Dylan. He is truly the most kind-hearted man in my life ever. Our relationship moved so fast. And the thing is, especially for me, and I don't know how other trans people do this, but especially for me, this is my story. When I, in my love life, it is flippin' scary, okay? Trusting someone enough to be truly you, flippin' scary. So to me, I, Wait until I tell my full story until I know I'm in good hands because people out there are scary and dangerous. So Dylan and I, we clicked and he didn't know. He knows now, Dylan knows um, about my past, but I wish I told him sooner. Everything felt so magical, so good that I was afraid to lose him if I would tell my full story. Um, and at the point where I told him my full story, of course, he was shocked but that is a private matter that we're dealing with and that I'm so proud of that we're able to deal with. I truly hope that people out there who are watching this respect our relationship that way, that we can handle it privately. Dylan is such a strong, inspiring human being and I am honored to be by his side. And you guys know that I am not the most public person about my life. We're kind of changing that up today, but I've always been private about my relationship. I always have been in the past. I am in the future. Um, just because Dylan has been on my channel doesn't mean I want to share all the dirt or all the bad stuff or all the good stuff, like all the stuff on the internet. So just like always, my love life is ours. It's private, um, but just know that we're working. I do want to address though that if you're watching this and you're in the same situation and you have truly fallen in love with someone, you have to tell the person that you love at some point. It's what they deserve. It's what they need. You can't be holding this back from them. Take it from me. Share it with them. Like the this. sooner the better. Of course, wait until you know that you're in good hands and safe hands, but the sooner the better. The number one thing that I'm concerned about sharing this with you today is, first of all, oh my God, this feels so liberating. You have no idea that for 11 years that I've had my channel, this has been with me. So and like I third. always wanted to share this I with guess. you, but I, I cannot believe that after today, the world will know. But there's one thing that I really, really want to make so clear to all of you. I am me. I am still Nikki. Nothing changes about that. The last thing I want in my life is for you to not trust me anymore or to look at me with different eyes or look at me in a different manner or think that I have changed. I have changed in a bit because damn, this feels liberating and freeing, but I, at the end of the day, am still Nikki. And nothing changes about that. The number one thing on my channel is my love for makeup. And the reason why the trans part of me never got to the light was because I wanted my channel to be about my art. I wanted my art to do the speaking for me. So I hope you understand that after all these years, I'm sharing it with you now, but nothing changes because at the end of the day, on my channel, my number one passion is the power of makeup. My number one passion is makeup, the power of transforming myself and boy, I've had a transformation, huh? <laughs> I've always wanted to live yeah. in a world where I saw myself as me, what? as Never Nikki, mind. as a woman, as a girl, as a boss lady. <laughs> this was my way out. You know, I started my channel back in the days where I still got really, really bullied for all of this. And this was my way out. This was my free world where I could truly be me. And you guys didn't judge me for anything. But at the end of the day, my story is beautiful. I'm proud of my story. No more holding back. 
No more secrets. From today on, you get me. And since I'm sharing this with you today, I feel like my relationship with all of you is going to be a whole lot more open than it ever has been in the past. I think I'm ready for that. Now, some of you may still question why in the intro I said that I didn't think today would be the day. I've always wanted to share this side of my story with you. I just wanted to do it under my conditions, but apparently we live in a world where other people hate on people that are truly themselves. I have been blackmailed by people that wanted to leak my story to the press. And at first, it was frightening. It was frightening to know that there are people out there that are so evil that they can't respect someone's true identity. It is vile and it is gross. And I know you are watching this. They said they wanted to leak it because I'm lying or that I don't want to tell my truth or because they feel like I'm too scared for people to know who I truly am. I'm not scared. So to the people who tried to blackmail me and thought they could really mess up my life with that, this one's for you. I hope you can sit nice on it. Boy, oh boy, are we starting off 2020 with a bang. Glow babies, today's the day I am free and I get to be me, finally. Please know that this doesn't change anything about me. My love for makeup has always been real. I have always been real. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I don't know if people are gonna hate me. I don't know if people are gonna accept me. All I know is that I haven't changed. You're seeing the same Nikki right now as you saw a couple of years ago. Now, if you look at my first video, however, that is a change because I have grown into a self-respecting, loving woman. I wanna thank a couple of people in my life before I close this off. The first one is all of you. You have always supported me. You have always had my back throughout all these years. And I have a feeling that Hopefully, today, you're there for me more than ever. I really hope so. I wanna thank my mom, my beautiful mom, my strong, inspiring mom, because she's been going through it. She's been so nervous for me. She's like, oh my God, the day has come. We're sharing it. Oh my God, I don't know how to feel. Mom, I think we're gonna be okay. I wanna thank my brothers. I wanna thank my stepdad. I wanna thank my family. I wanna thank Linda, I wanna thank Lisana. I wanna thank my manager, Wes, for pulling me through because he has been supporting me so much. But at the end of the day, I also really wanna thank Dylan because he is Dylan. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cannot believe we're here. Um, just for the shit of it, let's do a Dutch word of the day. <laughs> Today's Dutch word of the day is for woman, Frau. Ow. I'm a mother fluffin' frau, baby, that's right. <laughs> As always, if you want to get featured in my next video, I don't even know what my next video is going to be. I'm going to wait and see how this is all going to land. Um, so if you want to get featured in my next video, all you have to do is leave the Dutch word of the day down below, frau. And if you feel like you're trapped and there's no way out, know that it gets better. Trust me, it gets better. Glow babies, I love you so much. Thank you Glow so much. Babies. That's what she calls so herself. I will see you on yeah. the next one. Bye. Honestly, Need a freelancer to help you get stuff done? If you're a doer like Indy. Okay, I may get hate for this, but I feel like... Uh, I don't know why the world has come to like... Let's not put a label on things. Uh, I don't want to be a girl. I don't want to be a boy and stuff. I think people what, be saying that. Like I don't want to be labeled. You know, like what she said. I don't want to be labeled trans. Da da da. I think the problem is not being labeled and have a negative. <laughs> stereotype about it you know what i mean like for example in singapore 
oh, she's Chinese. Oh, she's Malay. She's Indian. Like our race doesn't is not something like a bad thing. Like basically, what I'm saying is, it's a description. Your race is. And yeah, like from yeah, like when you when when you're in Singapore, like it's like oh, okay, yeah, she's she's that Malay girl that's with long hair. Like okay, I know I know who she's talking to. Oh, she's talking about you know kind of thing. It's not like a oh you just labeled her this or label I don't know I don't know where I'm getting with this but I'm just saying I think the problem is not having that descriptive word it's more of the negativity that goes behind it like if we can establish or demolish that kind of like negative thinking associated with the word like transgender like why oh she's transgender like suddenly it needs, it's she ha- mm. it has to be a negative thing oh i'm a transgender and i think our problem is we don't see it as oh, okay you're transgender like there's nothing wrong you know that kind of thing like oh i'm gay oh i'm straight you know like don't have this negative i think the issue is the negative negativity that goes behind the word mm. then it is like the label because honestly like i'm proud to be you know malay i'm proud to be whatever but yeah like i feel like sometimes um i get confused as to what to say does that make sense what does that mean like one time i will okay for example one time i was at work and i was working and somebody was coming and they was like coming there to relieve me basically they're gonna take over and mm-hmm. i was gonna leave and i don't know if it was a guy or a girl so i'll i didn't i didn't know you know what i'm saying i didn't know if it was a guy or a girl so i'll just be like oh i just naturally say oh he'll take care of you like i didn't know okay. i don't know if it was a guy or a girl i don't know if it was a guy trying to be a girl or a girl trying to be a guy or mm-hmm. what you know what i'm saying but he looked like a guy like his face looked like a guy, but he did have breasts. Mm. So I was like, I don't know. So what did you end up saying? I was just saying he like, but yeah. it wasn't like I wasn't like trying to be like. It's not nothing, nothing personal. Yeah. It's just I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, Leave it and I'm talking comments. to the and I'm just talking to like the people, the customers, the guests. Like, oh, okay, you want a soda, popcorn piece or whatever you know okay he'll get it you know what i'm saying yeah. your totals zippity zop zop soup soup anyways leave down in the comments I, transgender people lgbtq plus a i i a i i don't know i don't know i I, don't, I honestly don't know the rest of the letters or symbols comment down below and let me know like what am i supposed to do anyways this is the first video on her channel i don't know if it's the first video she uploaded but this is like the oh, this is technically mm. labeled the oldest on the channel, so I just want to watch a little bit of it. Hey, YouTubers, this is going to be my first. Whoa, her accent is her so Her accent different. is so crazy. I thought she was Asian. In there? In the previous that, video? Yeah, she looked like... I thought that's why I asked if she from Singapore, because she looked Asian. What? No, she didn't look Asian to you? She's Caucasian. No. She is? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. Really? Yes. Okay, I want to hear um makeup tutorial um i hope you guys like it i already did my face makeup and now we're going to start with our eyes um we're going to do our base with a white pencil she has a slight accent but where is she crazy. from she's from netherlands well she's dutch i don't know where she's born in she just said like the Dutch word. Dang, of the this video was in 2008. So that's like, 12 years ago. That's almost 12 wow. years ago. That's crazy. In 12 years. Dang, that's crazy. I don't. I can't tell if she's. I swear she looks Asian. <laughs> that's the first time I heard that. Hello. Oh, that's she so looks. Long. She looks Asian. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. She, <laughs> yeah. Where is she from? Comment down below, Nikki. All the nicotine, uh, nicotine, nicotine. Glow baby. All the glow babies. Where the glow? Where the glow babies at? All the glow babies. Comment down below. 
Where is she from? So can cute. y'all give us some basic stats on Nikki? Or tutorial? we can always pull it up. I guess I could Google it. Wikipedia. <laughs> but I but I'd rather hear from the Glow Babies. Glow Babies know what Wikipedia don't. I'm glad she was able to, you know, come out and like before her people or whoever that know knew her decide to black I mean decide to publish yeah. it. I mean it sucks that she had to like Yeah do it's, it it's terrible. Before she wanted to do it but Honestly it doesn't change any opinion. Like like it honestly don't She was like me. oh I hope people she want to see did people like stop following her or something i don't think so i think uh, she'd get more followers but honestly like that don't change anything you know like i i thought she's a great makeup artist i still think she is it looked like she mostly just gained more of more of a following so i think so yeah good on her i don't know that's the end of the video shout out to nikki tutorials shout out to the glow babies shout out to the brows was that how you said I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching this video. I know it kind of got a little long. Appreciate you if you st stay with me through the end. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the comments. If I miss something, ask something earlier. We asked something and you got the information. I'll read the comments. Put them down in the comments, man. I'll give you, you know what I'm saying? I, I'll read them and I'll let you know, like, hey, okay, I didn't know that or whatever. Because I know Wikipedia is not watching Nikki tutorial videos. Right? Yeah. Wikipedia want, like, is based on people in, in certain yeah. videos. So yeah. unless the Glow Babies, unless you Glow Babies went and did it, they don't know. I'm pretty sure she's up, I haven't, up there. I've never really Googled. Page. I never really like Wikipedia. She probably has some YouTube wiki. YouTube people before. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Sorry for it being so long. I don't know if I got some skip frames over here. I don't know if it's gonna freeze. Appreciate y'all sticking with me. Peace. I'll just hit the mic. Yeah, she does have